yearly events. All right. Um, I thought it was really useful to have not just like a, um, it was like a conference with an opinion. And I felt like that was actually like quite refreshing to like um, convene and be able, like I, th I felt like it was like a lot more dialogue in all of the sessions in part because like there was an opinion to like converse around. Um, I found there were discussions about um, a, a workshop that Stefano from OSI um, gathered around defining what an open source AI uh, means, like what that definition looks like. I thought that was really interesting and a very useful conversation. Um, sat in on a conversation that um, Benjamin Miko Hill and, and his group, I forget what they're called, but they, it was about um, research um, was also really useful. Sophia's talk was a great one. Um, I just feel like the, there was breath and discussion um, and an opinion. And I felt like all of the talks were really useful. And, and I, I would encourage other people who are thinking about bringing people together that they can consider having an opinion uh, um, either in a specific track or for the entire conference, because it was, it, it really, I think allowed us all to like kind of connect on, on lots of different angles. Amazing. Hey, that was a great overview, Alyssa. The only thing I would add to that is that because of the size of it, the hallway track was phenomenal. Um, because of all your, your comment on sort of the thought provoking and discussion and open discussion, um, after every session, we all were in the same hallway and we were able to find each other and talk about it and meet more people. And I think, I don't know, that kind of really gelled with the rest of how the conference was going. So I really just appreciated that it was really informal. It was really small and you could find people. You could continue these conversations and connect with folks that you heard speak. And I just, I, I love that aspect of it. I think that part was run, run really well. They gave us space to do that and to find each other. And I appreciated that. Agreed. And one one um, present, uh, presentation I do want to call out that I think is relevant here is um, Lauren Crary from Python Software Foundation gave her very first talk ever. Um, and it was about the underappreciated art of, of appreciation and how important it is to give um, authentic, specific, um, empathetic uh, um, you know, messages of appreciation to the people in your community, um, especially in like the open source space. And I felt that was not only like a great first talk ever, like topic, but, um, I, and, and she presented it really well, but I, I thought really useful for us to remember as we like make, you know, help drive our and create our own communities. So, um, cause, and one of the questions brought up in this space was like, how do you, how, how do you how do you appreciate people without it being like overly, you know, overly positive? So that becomes like you know um, not not uh, meaningful. And I thought her response was really interesting. Was that like by being specific, um, and 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 really saying what the impact was for for you, not just saying like thank you, but thank you for doing this. It made me think like you know about something in a different way. I felt like. Um, trying to actually the specificity and the authenticity and the impact for yourself was helpful in reminding us like not to saying thank you, but thank you for what and why was 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 um, instructive guidance for me at least. So. I took like 20 pages of notes. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna see I'm gonna see if Bard can make an executive summary for me. Awesome. Uh, and then I was trying to pull this up while we were chatting about it, but uh, do we know if these talks, if these talks were recorded are going to be posted anywhere? Or is that not part of this conference? They were recorded, but they're all volunteers. So it's going to take a while. Okay. All right. I'm just going to leave the bossy homepage here. All right. Uh, feels like we got plenty of bossy stuff. Anything else for anybody to share? Anybody have anything else they feel passionate about to share from that conference? Elizabeth Cass had a booth the whole time. We did our very first one. So that was exciting and interesting and fun. 
And I, I was, it was really interesting to talk to people who had never heard of chaos before. So I feel like we reached some folks that uh, were kind of maybe outside our usual networks. So that was awesome. Um, we, we also will have a booth at All Things Open. So we, this was kind of like a dry run, um, smaller conference, like, you know, a more simple and All Things Open is a little more, uh, what's the word I want, involved. I don't know, like there's gonna be a lot more people and stuff there. So um, it was good to have a, a dry run. And thank you to everyone who Fantastic. also, Brian and Alyssa and Sophia, whoever else um, helped with the booth and uh, staffing the table. Really, really appreciate that. So who won the, the Legos? Um, uh, uh, oh, I just had it on the tip of my tongue. Sasha Reed. Um, yeah, we have a That's picture. We didn't really post it anywhere, but. Yeah, we gave away, for those who don't know, we, we bought a giant globe Lego um, and gave that away since chaos is a global community and, and it kind of fit really nicely and it was very uh, popular so <laughs> to bring folks over, which is what it was supposed to do and they had to fill out a little questionnaire about how they're thinking about metrics in their open source project. Um, and one curious thing that came up, sorry, one, one curious thing that came up in the community meeting this week was that uh, the way we present ourselves as health metrics is confusing for some folks because they think it's medical health. And um, I huh. did hear that a couple of times, at Harvard, which uh, was super interesting to me. Yeah, go ahead, Eric. I'm really curious too of the folks, uh, aside from the people that were just there to get in on the, on the Lego action, uh, <laughs> of the folks that were engaging and were talking about, you know, the, the subject matter of chaos, were there any sort of themes or consistent uh, problems or use cases that you heard from the attendees that, uh, were, you know, I don't uh, it, they, maybe they don't summarize neatly into a couple of sentences, but I'm really curious on of the people that just sort of came up cold and, and learned about what it was about. And then what was sort of the next question that most people tended to ask about, about what, what the problem space was? Excellent question. Um, so I will say, be, I think it's because of the nature of that conference and the folks who were attending, there was a few, quite a few questions about privacy and the ethical use of data and the ethical use of metrics. And so that, those were some interesting conversations. I know that's, um, that's a big thing for folks who attend that conference specifically. So, um, you know, chaos has a stance, which is that we just provide guidance, um, but obviously we don't have control over how folks end up using their data. So um, that seemed to be okay. I don't, I don't know if maybe we, you know, down the line, want to think about our position a little more or making that more visible, um, just to just to help, you know, assuage some of the fears that that folks might have about um, the usage of metrics, and especially if it's, you know, something that's going to touch on personally identifiable information um, around um, diversity, equity, inclusion specifically so and I did talk a lot about that the DEI space there um, is extremely extremely inclusive conference and a lot of folks care about this there too so um, that was really interesting as well to see the focus on that and that someone's thinking about it <laughs> I think that people were glad that someone's thinking about it and so hopefully we'll we'll see some new faces maybe around um, I don't know but it would be great to see them because it was really super interesting conversations Was there a sorry one more question on conferences was there any specific in terms of seeing new folks were there a was there a specific like call to action or a sign up that you drove people towards or like if you captured leads from the questionnaires what's kind of the output of of all of that uh data going to be that's another great question um so one thing we learned is that we need to have some qr codes for people to visit various bits of our site because there's a whole lot of stuff going on in chaos so we didn't have that all we had was our sign with the website so we just had to point people to that so for all things open we'll have some specific places where people can go to get more more specific information um, and with regard to the um, collecting of information and what we're doing with it we're really not we're really not going to do anything with that um, we're not going to follow up on any leads um, it was mostly just to for our own curiosity to see how people were thinking about metrics um, but we'll, we won't save that data. We won't reach out. That's kind of not really our vibe. So, um, you know, we kind of leave it up to folks to find us. Um, but this conference was primarily about awareness and outreach in that way. But we're a little more uh, hands off, <laughs> if you will, in that in that regard. We didn't have any like hard and fast goals or anything like that. So, yeah, great question, though. 
Thanks so much for the info. That's great. All right. Uh, great. I'm glad we got to kind of chat about Fosse. It sounds like a lot of good things happened. It sounds like there was a lot of uh, learning and good, fun things happening. So happy to talk about it. Let's move on. From last time, we had an open call about how we can talk more publicly about the metrics and models that we're all using. I believe that this is in response to AI and metrics and models that we're all using, um, or it might be just about the models that we're using that are metrics related in within the companies. But I, I think I remember from context it was around AI. So yeah, I, I guess, is, is this the right forum um, for us to be more open and uh, talk more publicly about these models or uh, I guess, any comments? Um, my comment, I guess, on this is it's totally from the, the chaos perspective, and it's like groups like this that help me think about how we're talking about them more publicly and and how a big part of the of what we're doing in chaos is to have the metrics and metrics models be meaningful in practice. And so there's this group, the kind of the chaos, you know, OSPO, corporate OSPO working group. We're also working with uh, university OSPOs uh, as well as scientific software community. So to me, that's at least from chaos perspective, how we are talking about a lot of these metrics and metrics models more publicly by kind of engaging people where they're at and trying to identify the, the metrics and models that are meaningful to them in their particular context. So that's at least from my perspective. Yeah, um, definitely these groups help, I think. And I'm, I guess uh, we should talk about it as it comes up. And if there's more discussion to be had about specific pieces, I think that can happen. Um, I don't remember who it is that brought this up, but I would love to hear the their yeah, feelings or what we're talking about. Yeah, and I'll also I'll add, like I feel like because of these groups, there have been um, specific submissions to OSSEU and to the member summit around these very particular issues that we haven't done so much in the past. So it's more, a lot of the prior um, presentations regarding chaos have just been a lot about kind of who we are and what our software is, <laughs> almost like the booth that Elizabeth was talking about, like really, you know, kind of informational and come, come join. And I feel like I've seen uh, kind of a, an uptick in like folks from this very group, like looking at the people who are on this call, like kind of coordinating efforts to to talk about the things that they're doing in their own particular context. Um, so that's been really great as well. Yeah, Alyssa. Um, I, th I think related to this question, like it could be interesting to sort of have like a mid-year reflection of like, this is the first year that we've been having this this working group together. We had set together the the, the goals for the year. Like where 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 do you think um, the conversation has, has evolved to? Like how have we maybe shifted some of the priorities of what chaos is trying to do as, as an independent community? Like where, what, what else are you thinking about? Um, and that might help us uh, help us figure out where where we could talk publicly about this, uh, you know, or what what we're trying to say. I I really like that, and I think that's something we could um, do pretty easily, and like as a as as simply as a blog post. Yeah, uh, I do. I really liked your comment about how <clears throat> these groups have helped shift priorities. For chaos, I think that's a really great question statement that would be a, a nice header for the for the blog post because it, it really has. So yeah, it'd be it'd point. be not, I think it'd be useful for us as like ASPO people because we, we don't really I mean I we don't really know what we're how we've maybe shifted the conversation because we've just like you know jumped in. I I love that absolutely love it. I could definitely contribute a success story, and I've been here since April. <laughs> I was just going to um, 
with regard to conferences specifically and submitting talks, I was just going to ask if it would be helpful to uh, bring attention to or surface some like CFPs in this group for upcoming conferences. Would that be helpful to anyone? Because I'm happy to just try to keep an eye on those and put them here. I see a couple of thumbs ups. Just that Definitely. way, if anybody in this group wants to uh, do a joint presentation or just do a single present like that, at least that might be helpful. Okay. Cool. Fantastic. Uh, how can we talk more publicly about metrics and models we're all using? Sounds like we got some good discussion out of that. Does anybody have anything to add? Any more thoughts, feelings, hopes, or dreams about this? Going once, going twice, it's gone. I am going to skip over Anna because she will be joining us a little bit later. She mentioned, I pinged her on the side and she mentioned that she can make it for the second half of this meeting. So I'd love to give her that time when she can join. All right, uh, agenda items, chaos, OSPO liaisons. Welcome yes. to uh, Ruth and Mary Blessing. Who's, who's is this? Yeah, I can speak to this. So just um, so people know one of the things that we're doing in the chaos project is as we have these different groups like the corporate OSPOs, the universities and scientific software, the intention is to have kind of open discussions as we're having here. Um, but there will be times where there's an identification of say a new metric that needs to be developed or a new metric model that may be developed that supports um, kind of stuff that we'll talk about a little bit later. but the intention is to not spend time developing or authoring those metrics or metrics models here, kind of like the deep, the, the mechanics of getting that done. And so we have uh, liaisons who have volunteered to, in the future, participate. And Ruth and Mary Blessing have uh, agreed to participate in this group. And so what they would do as liaisons is be part and listen to this conversation, uh, help when new metrics or metrics models are identified bring those to it's the chaos common working group which is where we do a lot of that metric and metric model development y'all don't have to attend that group and so we would work on actually authoring those metrics and metrics models and then ruth and mary blessing would bring them back to this group and kind of talk through um, how we develop them what we heard uh, and then bring them back to this group for review so that's the the role of the liaison and so i just wanted to mention that here And we're doing this for all of the, the scientific software uh, community, as well as the university OSPO community. So we have liaisons for each. Beautiful. That is a great idea. Um, I feel that probably many of these awesome metrics ideas that we get uh, die on the table because they get mentioned and then we all forget about them. Yeah, uh, and I don't want to have I, like... I, low level conversations here that like people are right. really interested yeah. <laughs> in in that type of stuff. So yeah. Yep. I uh I'll be attending that commons group. I didn't realize that that's where I should be going for for viability probably. Not yet. Um, so <laughs> we'll be there. Right uh up. fantastic. Um Anna just pinged that she is here. Hello Anna. Um I want I wanted to bring up the book topic because uh, Yahui had mentioned that he would like to contribute to the book, and there was a little more discussion around the book, so I wanted to give Anna the floor to chat about it uh, in this group again. Anna, okay. please, take it away. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I, I'm going to start my screen. I think it's going to be easier. Uh, okay, oh, okay, now I think I can share my screen now. Yeah. Um, this Okay, so can everyone see my screen? Yep. Okay, yeah, so I, I told Gary, I think like a few months ago or so, uh, we got, I got the same question, I think, in this group, and uh, based on the feedback from this group, uh, we improved the contributing guidelines, and now hopefully it's easier for people willing to contribute to this book, have like a more clear vision on how to get started. So um, the OSPO book is hosted under uh, the OSPOlogy repo right now. And if you 
if you go to Spology book, you will see like uh, there is the contributing, uh, like how to get it started in contributing, the governance, uh, like the different profiles and so on. So uh, if someone wants to contribute apart from the um, uh, from the metrics chapter that um, I believe I've seen like some of the work that has been done, uh, Matt has been sharing these slides. Now I was reviewing, uh, I don't know uh, if someone was working on the, yeah, on this chapter overview that I think it's great. And, and maybe we can talk later on how to put this into maybe a, uh, an issue to track the progress and let other people to also share insights. But if people wants to contribute to other areas and specializations of the of the book, it has like several chapters and several topics, and they want to know uh, like the different outcomes of each chapter. Um, there's there is like a governance, yeah, the project governance. So you will see like the typical profiles like observers, contributors, uh, and maintainers, and how to become one. Um, and then how to contribute to this guide making submissions. So uh, we usually have um, a mailing list where we have all the discussions and uh, from time to time we have like a contributors call. So we don't have like a bi-weekly or monthly contributors call. It's more like once there is a PR uh, that needs review that includes a chapter uh, we create like a contributor call and uh, we gather everyone interested to um, give feedback from, to that chapter and review it together. And then uh, we finalize that PR and merge it. So that is the process uh, we follow. Um, and also we do also uh, have the issues. So uh, we have some issues uh, tagged under OSPA book. So if everyone has any specific topic they would like to bring discussion. So for instance, there was a proposal for additional topics and, and create um, like a new chapter or include it in the last chapter um, and, and, and all the discussions that are open. Uh, so usually uh, we invite people to submit the issue and from then we can track it. And once we have like a more consistent Thing to bring as a PR, we just convert it into the, the PR. So um, as, I, as I was mentioning, I think like the first three things to get started uh, in case people want to uh, become a contributor, not only of the, of the chapter of the metrics that also makes you a contributor, of course, but if you want to expand that and contribute to the other chapters that talks more about like open source strategy and the role of OSPOs, uh, the value of OSPOs, like that there are all the different chapters. Um, going to the governance uh, repo and, and, and read the documentation. Also, if you go to the chapters, okay, that is not correct, but I need to fix the link. But if you go to the chapter folder uh, and go to the uh, table of contents, um, so you will see like the, expected discussions topics that we are trying to cover. So chapter one, two, and three are already like more or less like 80% complete. Uh, and uh, the idea is uh, once, um, once uh, September starts, uh, uh, start working on chapter four and uh, five is uh, related to, to chaos and so on. Um, and this is something that I'm just leading to. Uh, I'm just um, uh, waiting for for this group to discuss and to to provide feedback, um, and and so on. So uh, I don't know if you have if this group have any concrete questions or suggestions, um, any anything that that comes out, or maybe regarding, for instance, the document on the chapter overview that I saw here. Uh, any ideas on, on how to put this uh, or how to start working um, in the in the repo, in the dedicated repo. So I had, um, actually I have an update on the book chapter content itself that I was going to share here. Um, 
do you, Anna, do you want us to have like a conversation here first, or do you want it to like immediately move to the the email list? You know what I mean? Like so do you mean the the documentation of the chapter overview, like how to move it to yeah, well, so like let me let me try to find what I was working on because that was okay. not the link. But basically, I, the hope was is that we could have kind of a discussion here on this call about what the book chapter could be about, kind of what the framework mm -hmm. could be about. Um, is that the presentation you have linked further in the the notes, Matt? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Update on organizational OSPO functions, metrics, and metrics not models. That. No, that's a different one. Okay, but it's right. related. But um. Sure. When would you want to want us to move the conversation out of this like call and into the email list? Because when mm -hmm. you talk about other people being able to contribute, it seems like we might want to frame the book chapter a little bit, like have it yeah. somewhat stable so that the conversation isn't too wide ranging. So uh, for in the past, in the last contributors call of the book, what I'm what I'm saying to people that want to contribute to the metrics chapter is go to the chaos um, working group uh, and work from there. That, that is what I'm telling them. Um, and I know there might be some people, may, well, not some pe right people, uh, people here, uh, I think they're not from the contributors book, but I know like some people are in between like the attending to the working group calls and also part of the contributors, um, attending to the contributors calls. So one of the things we can do is maybe organize, uh, apart from this, from the regular uh, chaos working groups, like a special contributors call where people from this working group that are interested to work specifically on the chapters book can join. And also the people that are um, contributing to all the chapters of the book can also join uh, and maybe uh, Matt or someone representing this working group can can give a sort of presentation and then uh, discuss together. Um, I don't know if that will help to to move forward. Okay, well, that's, that's helpful. Thank you. Um, so if you could you go back to that book chapter? Yeah. You, your overview. Um, the one that, the, yeah. The is Google it... No, no, no. The, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That mm -hmm. so actually, okay, so actually it is in here. So if you scroll down, Yep. So I had I had made these sections. So section one was how metrics can be helpful. And then an introduction to chaos. Mm -hmm. I scroll down to page two. Mm -hmm. This was my a, 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 like initial proposal for the book chapter mm -hmm. <laughs> that I was gonna. So it is it is actually this document. So I had tried to frame some of the earlier conversations we were having into just kind of these five headings that we have here. So uh, based on the structure of the chapters, I think these are like good um, headlines to, to put together. I would say like, for instance, the introduction of Kale. So if you go to other chapters of the book, uh, let me go, for instance, to chapter three, you will see like there is always like introduction. And then uh, there is some like assessment section. Okay. Um, so maybe the one of metrics can be uh, about chaos because it's like some, it, it tries to give like some practical insights to to the chapter. That is the point of, of, of having this assessment uh, section. So okay. uh, I will say maybe we can share this document uh, and also the, well, we I, I already shared this slide to the in the contributors mailing list, but share also the uh, this Google Doc and and tell uh, and and say in the mailing list that maybe in September, early September, we are planning to have a special contributor call focused on the on the metrics chapter. Okay. And if you can attend, uh, or someone from this working group can attend and represent this working group, that will be very helpful I'm, I'm just speaking like what i think it can work best but i don't know if um someone from this group has all the ideas on how to proceed or or maybe uh, what whatever works best i will try to to um also say to to the other people from the from the book to uh to do what what 
can work best for for both uh, groups. Okay, no, that's I, I'll follow your your lead on that. Absolutely, no problem. Just I think this is a good way to work. Can you go back to that what you were showing the tab that had like the introduction, the small structure? Um, in, in this the chapter overview you're talking no, about. No, it was the one on GitHub. Okay. That. Oh, okay. This one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This is from chapter three. Do you want them all? Do you want all the chapters to kind of follow that structure? Like uh, introduction, mm -hmm. and then you have like an assessment tag there. Mm -hmm. Do you, do because you, I can we could work it so that it follows a structure similar. To, like, does is that what you're looking for? Kind of a structure like that. Resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at this moment, like all the chapters that are that we are work we have been working on use are following this structure. So if if we can keep this homogeneous, that will be great. If yeah, for okay. some reason the metrics one doesn't fit in this structure, we can see like how can we change it or or maybe make changes. Okay. Um, well, see if it, like for instance, the, the OS20 yeah. patterns maybe you might not find something like called anti-patterns on a metrics angle. So maybe it doesn't make sense to include them. But for instance, the, the resources is basically resources to the chaos metrics or to the chaos software tooling uh, use cases and so on. Okay. So if you click on chapter two mm -hmm. in that list. So, okay. So it does follow that same pattern, introduction, assessment, mm -hmm. anti-patterns. There are definitely anti-patterns in metrics for sure. <laughs> um, okay, this is I'll follow. I'll take the the Google Doc that we have, like the proposed chapter, and kind of set it up around those criteria that you have, and see if mm -hmm. we can make that work. Okay, and if if that works, uh, just to to give like a to do task for me. I can uh, try to uh, ping in the, yeah, the mailing list that it's open, everyone can access to that, uh, to try to see if we can schedule like a special contributors call focus on this chapter, maybe like uh, in, in September, like the first yeah. week, second week of September and see who can join and, yep. and provide input. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, awesome. Even doing it before OSSEU would be really great too. Okay, hmm. perfect. All right. Thank you, Anna, for all of that uh, context and input and process around the book. Very helpful. Uh, hope we can get contributors who are interested into those groups so that they can help out. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Let's um, hand the mic over to Matt. You had that uh, slide deck, organizational OSPO functions, metrics, and models. There's an yes. update you'd like to share with us. Yeah, so I'm going to share my screen. Thank you. Okay, so um, okay, so I'm I'm just going to is this the right one? Yes. So um, I'm going to continue to sh share this, and let me just kind of give you some perspective on this again. So across the different groups that we have in chaos, we have a group that's focused on university OSPOs. We have a group that's focused on scientific software, and we have the group here, which is with corporate OSPOs. And the intention here is to kind of help frame the conversation around what metrics are helpful in um, revealing uh, particular things or functions that, and I say, a corporate OSPO would care about. So that we're not just doing metrics for metrics sake. So we've learned a lot in chaos that just talking about metrics first is not always that helpful because it's hard to just place a metric as to having some value somewhere. Um, and so the intention of such a, a framework here is to get us to better understand how metrics can be meaningful um, from an organizational or corporate OSPO perspective. So um, I've introduced this before and I would just continue to love feedback. So You've given me feedback in the past, which I've continued to try to incorporate here. So do you remember I had introduced this as a maturity model? Do you remember that? And yes. the response was like, yes. no, no, don't, don't do that. So that's, <laughs> that's fine. I agree that different OSPOs are in different states. And um, so that that is completely gone. So there's not meant to be any intention here between 
um, moving left to right or moving from the top to the bottom. Okay, so what what this is is it's following kind of a the chaos goal question metric approach to identify metrics that have um, kind of meaning for people. So if I was to take a look at adoption, oh, and I will say this too, the adoption, education, engagement, and leadership comes from the report uh, that is down linked down here at the bottom. And it's also um, what is used in a prior book chapter approximately um, as to kind of how to think about um, what OSPOs are kind of engaging with. And so the idea here is that we have different goals that we could investigate with respect to adoption. And so the recognition of OSS practices in the organization is a goal that we're trying to understand. We then have a series of questions that speak to that goal. So if we could perfectly answer the question of how do we recognize people and teams engaged in open source communities, that might help us kind of gain better insight on that goal, or how do we recognize people and teams making strategic contributions to open source, and so on and so forth. Um, it's only then that we have metrics that would help answer these particular questions. And so we would need a metric that would help us answer the question of how do we recognize people and teams engaged in open source communities. So from our company, from our organization, how do we recognize um, the people and teams that are engaged in different open source communities? How do we recognize the people making strategic contributions to those open source communities? And how do we recognize people and teams serving in open source leadership positions? So these may not be the right questions. I don't, if you don't like these questions, I don't, that's completely fine. Um, if you don't like the goal, I don't particularly care. Um, <laughs> well, I just, I'm trying to, because <laughs> I'm suspecting the <laughs> conversation. <laughs> No, I didn't mean it that way. I mean, I know. The other way. Oh, of it landed, it yeah. landed funny. I, I like the goal, but that, that was exactly my, my question. I don't understand these questions. That's fine. Towards this goal. So are these just these are okay. just me, these were just me like kind of yesterday or two days ago, just kind of jotting things down. And I tried to like write down questions, you know, for each one of these particular goals. But I mean, but would it be useful here then to like start to start brainstorming questions? Correct. Because, because then we can identify, do we have existing metrics that can help answer those questions, you know, in within that have been published in chaos? And if we don't, we can go ahead and develop those metrics or metrics models as well. Well, so for me, like adoption means the use of open source within um, within an organization. So okay. your questions about, um, if you go back to the questions again, you bet. like engagement, like where um, contributions, all of those, all that that language is is further up in the chain. Like um, I feel like the questions about adoption and use are are much are more about like where you know where you know where is open source being used, what teams are maybe using it. Um, like that. And I think, you know, we talk a lot about uh, quantifying business value, like how's that influencing, but you know, budget decisions or. Okay. What is a cost? What is a cost or cost savings? I, you know, I don't know. Something connecting with with value. What is I don't. What is that one then? So. Like I'm not sure what the question is, but somehow understanding if the where how use is is influencing uh, cost. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm glad I'm plus one, Eric. I'm not sure what even what I'm saying now. <laughs> Maybe I'll pass it over to you. I definitely agree that 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 the yeah that the previous questions around recognition seemed like they were much further downstream, and that if the this this particular section was about like yeah just figuring out where 
who is using it, where where it's being used, what's the what are the are there pat are there common patterns or is it just like a total scatter shot effect? And are there um is there a um uh like like consistent governance around it or are people doing it, just pull in an open source stuff as a uh, ad hoc way to get a particular project off the ground. Another question about use. I don't know if this is related, but um, like what 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 kind of projects are our teams using? Like, are they um, like some are they help questions coming in chat as well? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, Tabitha writes, yeah. how does OSS contribute value to the organization? Uh, how are decisions made regarding consumption of open source? I'll slow down so that. Uh, and Anna had written another one. Um, what tools and infrastructure are used in the organization which contain open source dependencies? Uh, how many um like where is open source being used in the org okay this is great and eric the, i tried to their governance and ad hoc i i get it i'm not sure if that is uh like like maybe here Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, that that's okay. that's what I was trying to get at. Okay, okay. This is great. Okay, so um, yeah, Alyssa, Alyssa uh, oh. put in another one. What type of open source is being used? Okay, and where? Gotcha. I'm gonna use instead of typing everything. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna start pasting these in the. In the <laughs> that's exactly it. But it's so it. funny because this I feel like this is um. This is the beginning of the, but there, are there, I think there are so many questions about what adoption, you know, like this before we even get to like actual engagement. Yeah. And some of these might fit like this is maybe this goal was a little bit more about kind of, I don't know, maybe these are too close because this is the second one being discovery <clears throat> of open source in the organization. I think some of these questions might be suited there as well, but I'm not sure how these are, these two goals maybe differentiate from themselves. Um, this is great. Are there other questions that I'm missing? Uh, yeah, I'm recording them, uh, hopefully in order down here. Okay. So one of the, so as we are wrapping up on time, like these are great. And this is, you just keep throwing these, throwing these out. And what I'll continue to do is try to organize these um, listening to what all of you have to bring forward. Um, because I think once we can set out, and it won't be <laughs> a perfect set of goals or a perfect set of questions, like, we'll never get there. Um, but it can be a set of questions that can help uh, achieve that goal or gain insight on that goal or um, and then ultimately on that function. Um, and once we can kind of establish a set of <laughs> Would be metrics and metrics models that can help provide insight towards those questions. And the intention here is that, that again, not metrics for metrics sake, but if we're talking about metrics, we're able to talk about those metrics, try to what we're trying to address with those metrics and what we're trying to accomplish within the organization. Um, similarly, again, we're doing this in, in the different, in the university OSPO context, and we're doing this in the scientific software. Context, the, the thought is, is that, that over time, some of these eight boxes, there are these goals down below will actually be quite similar across some of these different groups. Um, and they will also be unique for each of these different groups, but as the some that are similar, um, we can probably learn from each other as to how other groups are thinking about the questions and the metrics that are important to them say around legal and security education, if that seems to be one of the overlap areas. Um, so that it's not just a conversation occurring here, but it's a conversation occurring other places and learning can occur between them. So that's it. 
on this and now we're out of time so <laughs> fantastic i've taken your next item and we will talk about it next time matt uh okay. thank you so much for that healthy discussion and for bringing that up thanks everybody for attending uh this has been a fun little meeting we've done i was very happy to MC it and we hope to see you again soon see you soon everybody bye all happy weekend bye bye all right. happy weekend bye